to me. Right, right. Okay. Right, so I'll give you the word picture. Yeah. Yeah, it's PST5 we're doing today. Yeah. Which is the emergency stop and the use of mirrors. Okay. So I have had some lessons with another instructor, but I've never been out with you before, yeah? Yeah. So I'm at a what we class as a party trained level. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so before we go on the roll, it's really important to remember what I'm asking you to cover today is two subjects, not one subject. Okay. It's emergency stop and the use of mirrors. Yeah. Yeah. And the mirror element never stops. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so it's really, really important to carry the mirrors through right to the end, yeah? Okay, yeah. Any questions there? Nope. Right, so if you've got no questions, we'll, uh, we'll go on the roll, so I'll leave you to meet and greet. Yeah. Hello, hi, uh, um, Tony. My name is Pierre. Hello, Pierre. How are you, all right? Yep. Um, so we're going to have a, here, we're going to have a, to have a look at uh, emergency stop and use of mirror oh today. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so you've been driving for how long have you been driving for now uh, I've had about um, I think this about my fifth era today I think if yeah. I remember rightly so you you started using obviously the, the mirrors oh yeah, yeah when you come to yeah, junctions yeah. and yeah yeah and I've been going out with my brother a couple of times as well yeah yeah uh, so when you come when you come to a to a to a to a, to a, to a road a junction how far from the junction, do you look in the mirror, check your mirrors? Oh, uh, as soon as I see the junction, I start checking them. Yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> and which, which mirror do you check first? Um, oh, the door mirror. No, well, you, you have to, 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 to uh, look in the, mid, in the middle mirror first, the center mirror. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, do you know why that is? Oh, oh, I've been doing inside out. Um, okay. Well, oh, 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 no, it's outside in. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know why it's important that you 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 look at the, the inside mirrors first? Uh, it's easier, isn't it? Well, <clears throat> it's a different type of glass. It's a flat glass. All oh, right. Yeah. So it gives you a true picture what's behind you. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So you can judge the speed and distance of cars behind you. All oh, right. And then if you look at the in the in the door mirror. Yeah. Uh, can you see that? Things are a bit deformed. They are, they are not as they should be. Oh, I remember on this. Uh, um, it's convex glass, isn't it? I don't know about convex glass, but it makes everything look um, nearer. But it's actually further away. That's right. It? So whenever you see something there, you act on it. Right, so listen to my because answer. it's a lot. What was the answer I gave you? Okay, you obviously got it wrong. So the mirror, the 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 yeah, the, so the wing mirror it makes, makes everything, everything looks smaller and you think it's further away but in fact it's nearer than it looks oh right yeah, yeah? Sorry, i got it the wrong way around yeah yeah so it's very important when you look in the, that mirror if you see something there you act upon it because it's oh, a lot right. nearer than you think it is all oh, right okay yeah so the center mirror is for distance of car behind you and yeah. speed they're going yeah and the side mirrors are uh, for when you change position in the road. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So you glance at them, you see something there, it tells you if there is a car coming, overtaking you. Oh, okay. Then you know yeah. you mustn't accelerate or turn or, okay? Yeah. So, <clears throat> okay, so if you want to check, uh, do your safety checks first. Oh, right. please. No, uh, it's very important you you don't lean forward when you uh, adjust your mirrors, Tony. I have to to, uh, to reach you. Well, if you if you do that now, whenever whenever you start to use your mirror, you're going to be moving forward. So sit back in your seat. You mustn't oh, move right, forward. Yeah. And then with one hand, oh, one hand, one hand, oh, yeah. and then you adjust it. Yeah. And tell me what you can see in the back of the the window. I can't see very much, but I can. I can frame the whole back window and yeah. I can see a bit of my head restraint, is that all right? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. And what about the, the door mirrors, Tony? Oh yeah, but just them, aren't I? Um, I, I, 
I don't think I need the key on this one. Um, he said they work without the key. Okay, and again, you must you must stay in the driving position. And then, no, don't lean forward, oh, Tony. Right. You yeah. stay in the driving position. Yeah. And then adjust it. And tell me what you can see. How are you, how are you adjusting it? Oh, I'm turning this little knob here. Yeah. How can you see? How can you, you must lean forward, Tony. Oh, Tony. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sit back in your seat. Yeah. It's very important because when you're driving, Tony, when you're going to be driving on the road, you're not going to be every time leaning forward to have a look in the mirrors, yeah? You want to stay in your driving position so you can control the car properly and just turn your left, your head left or right to look in your mirrors. Oh, my brother said it's really good to over exaggerate, he said, because then the examiner can see you're checking. Well, you don't, you will know you're checking. All oh, right. You will know, you don't oh. need, you mustn't really, because it means that you haven't adjusted properly. All oh, right. So tell me what you can see in this mirror there, Tony. Uh, I can see the door handles. Yeah. And I can see that fence, that railing behind me just comes in at the top of the mirror and okay. the wall comes in in the middle. Right. And, and this side? That one. Yeah, very good. Well done. Okay, Tony, so that's that's how your mirrors are adjusted now. So you All don't right. need to lean forward yeah. anymore. So if you want to start the car for me, please. All right, yeah. <coughs> We're going to turn right out of the car park. Yep. So we're going to be turning right at the car yeah. park, Tony. So which mirror are you going to be checking first? Oh, the right one. Yeah, first, Tony. The first mirror oh, the right you check. One. The middle mirror, Tony, you check first. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah? And then the right one to see anybody is oh, right, cutting yeah, you in. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to lean forward when oh, you... Right, yeah. If you... If you feel you need to lean forward, Tony, we'll stop and adjust the windows, the, no, the no, mirrors again. Right, no, it's right, right. Yeah? Okay, in the new road now, Tony, you're checking the middle mirror. Tony, right, check the middle yeah. mirror. All right, yeah. You yeah. have to see who's behind you. Somebody is coming behind you. And the right mirror, Tony. And the right mirror, Tony. Oh, yeah, yeah. To see if anybody overtakes yeah. you before you accelerate. Because if somebody was overtaking you, Tony, you would not accelerate. All right. You let them go, yeah? Otherwise, they could end up in the car in front of us. Coming All right, towards yeah, us. of course. Yeah. yeah? So when you turn a very sharp corner that Tony, you want to check your right mirror in case somebody right. is overtaking you on the inside as well. The, the same here again. At the roundabout ahead. Check your left mirror Tony before you take the corner. To at make the roundabout sure ahead we're going to turn right and then immediately left. Right at the roundabout we're turning right left. and then immediately left oh. afterwards. So first thing you do Tony, you look in the review mirror oh. before you break. Yeah. Look in the review mirror Tony. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why do you look in the review mirror? Review mirror Tony? <coughs> uh, inside out. You want to know what's behind you, Tony. All oh, right. Yeah? yeah. And then you check the right mirror, Tony. All oh, right. Yeah. So then you know nobody's overtaking you on the outside. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got to make sure nobody's overtaking me, am I? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the reason now, but I'll, it'll, well, come, it'll come to me. The reason you, you don't want anybody overtaking you, Tony, if you were to carry on, turn left, turn left here, Tony. And look in the mirror, mirror Tony. The mirror, oh, mirror yeah, and yeah. left mirror, Tony. Left mirror. Oh, right. Anybody overtaking you on the inside? No, no, no bicycles. Yeah. No, the bicycle dog took me on the right hand side, there, didn't he? On the inside as well, they yeah. could. Yeah. The reason why you looked, Tony, if somebody was overtaking you on the outside, yeah. Yeah. And then you carry on going, you could force them into oncoming traffic. All oh, right. Now, Tony, before you overtake park car, you have to look in the rearview mirror, see if anybody is behind you. Okay, oh, and right. your right mirror oh, to right. see if anybody's trying to overtake oh, you. Right, yeah. Before you steer, you look at that right mirror or left mirror. It's very important you do that, Tony, because then you have to know what's happening around you so that you can actually drive down the road in a safe way. Yeah? Oh, right. And we're going to turn left. We're going to be turning left at the end of the road, Tony. So, middle mirror, Tony. Oh, middle mirror. Check yeah, the middle mirror. Yeah. And left mirror. Oh, right. Left mirror, Tony. Oh, yeah, left mirror. Yeah. 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 And why are you looking there for me, Tony? Uh, Oh, you mentioned bicycles. Bicycles, Tony, yeah, that's right. Because if they were there and you carried on, you wanted to turn left, Tony, what could happen? Um, well, if I didn't see the bicycle, I'd probably hit them, wouldn't I? You would hit them, yeah. And the new road, Tony, you check the middle mirror. Oh, yeah, the middle mirror, yeah. To see who's behind you. Yeah. And the right mirror, Tony. Right oh, mirror. Yeah, yeah. To see if anybody overtakes you. Yeah. And why is that dangerous, Tony, if somebody overtakes you and you carry on? Oh, uh, if I um, if I don't let them go, they could go into an oncoming car, couldn't you they? You could go, yes. Yeah. So it's very important you have a you know what is around you, yeah. Yeah. 
And every five seconds, you look in the rear of your mirror, Tony, to see who is behind you again. Every five seconds? Yeah, every five seconds, That's you have a look. Money. Well, you have to know what's behind you. It changes very quickly. Yeah? All Cars right. are going and coming, all the time behind oh. you. Oh, I thought you only had to check them when you were uh, indicating or no. now turning no. right. Turning right at the end, Tony. Yeah. So, middle mirror, Tony. Right. And right mirror. All right. And why do you look in the right mirror again, Tony? Oh, anybody overtaking me? Yeah. And if they were overtaking you, what would you do? Yeah, I'd let them go, wouldn't I? Yeah. And again, the new road, Tony, which one do you check? Oh, it's the middle one. Yeah, middle and one. And the right one. Yeah. And why do you check the middle one first, Tony? Um, I have to see what the distance of speed in the vehicle behind me is, isn't it? That's right. And the right mirror, you check what, what the reason? Oh, that? that's the one if anybody's overtaken me, isn't it? That's right. Well done. So check who's behind you. Is there, is there a car behind you, Tony? Look in the mirror. Yeah. There's a car behind you. And straight on. Please. And straight on, Tony. So you want to look often in the rear view mirror so you know who is behind you. Anybody following you in the new road, Tony? Oh yeah, yes, that's black yeah. car is, yeah. yeah. Okay. I've got checkers overtaking me. Yeah. yeah turning well, right. Turning right, Tony. So middle mirror, Tony. Right mirror. And again, in the new road, Tony, what do you do in the new road? I'll um, check. Check? I check. Yeah. And where do you check the center mirror first, Tony? I'll see what's following me. And then somebody was following you very near. What would what would you have to do? Uh, I could indicate earlier, couldn't I? You can indicate earlier. Tony, okay. Now, before you, when you pass car, Tony, you mustn't do it unless you look in the rear view mirror and the left mirror. So come into this car there, Tony. Looking well ahead. Oh, I've got to go past the car, haven't I? I've got to, yeah, I've got to yeah. come back in afterwards, haven't I? Yeah, you do. But look in the rear view mirror as you come into this car. Look in the rear view mirror. Yeah. Okay, and the right mirror. Yeah. And now you pass the car. And then if you wanted to go back in, you'd have to look the middle mirror and left mirror, Tony. Because it could be a cyclist or the car that you just passed could decide to go. And then you hit them. Oh, they could move away, you mean? They could move oh, away right, yeah. as you're I'm pulling in. Turn left. So you want to really... And again, Tony, turning turn left. left yeah. So what mirror shade are you looking Oh, middle mirror, left mirror. Okay. And why is that, Tony, you look in the left mirror? Um, to see what's behind me. And uh, to see if there's any cyclists coming down the inside, isn't it? Yeah. And if there was a cyclist, what would you do? Um, I'd indicate, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn in front of him. Well, you don't indicate if there was a cyclist. You let, it, you let him go because it could, it could frighten him. Oh, he could right. think you're moving in. Yeah? Yeah. Left mirror again. And the same again before you go, Tony. You want to look over your shoulder as well as the right mirror. On my shoulder as well. Look, yeah, because it could be somebody. See the mirror, Tony, don't always give you a perfect picture. There's a blind spot. Oh, right. And that's over your, over your shoulder. So it's very important that if you stop like this, because the scene around you can change so quickly, you want to have a good look around you on the right, All right. to make sure that there's no one there that's coming towards you. And we're going to take the next turning to the left. It'll be next turn to the left only. So again, what mirror check are you going to make? Oh, middle mirror. Yeah. And, oh, left over. Yeah. And in the new road, Tony, what mirror check do you do? Um, oh, middle and right, isn't it? Do it, Tony. Middle mirror. Oh, yeah. I've got to get, get there first, haven't I? Yeah. And you give it a stop on the left here. And stop on the left for me, Tony, please. And again, we're going to be parking, so you want to check? Oh, uh, middle mirror. And left mirror, Tony. Oh, yeah, left mirror, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And stop the car. And you can stop the car for me, please, Tony. <coughs> and so, be, this would be a suitable area to do the emergency stuff. Okay, so how how did you find that? Yeah. What have you learned with, with those? Uh, how important is it to share those mirrors, Tony? Very. Yeah. Um, what, what was the reason? Why, why, why is it important? You know I what's behind know what's you. I need to know what's happening to be around me all the time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite important to get them in that right order as well, isn't it? It's very important so you, give, you get the right information. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, well done. Uh, we're going to do uh, the emergency stuff. Oh yeah, I'm really nervous about that. Yeah? Yeah. Well, don't be nervous. It's something you probably will never have to do. 
Oh. Yeah, hopefully. If you know what's around you. But in a case where you have to do it because things happen in life, then you will know how to do it. Yeah? Oh. So, I've got little diagrams here. All right. Yeah, to help you out a little bit. So we're going to be doing that emergency stop. Now, you would do that, Tony, if there's anything happening in front of you that you don't expect. It could be a child walking in front of you, running in front of you, yeah? Right. At the last minute, I mean, you always have a good, you always have a good observation in front anyway, and you know what your mirrors are doing around you, and you know what people are doing around you, but there are occasions where you won't be able to guess or to prevent things that are happening to you. A child from the pavement or between cars running in front of you oh. as you're driving by, yeah? And in those cases, you have to stop very quickly in the shortest distance possible, oh, right. yeah? And for doing that, we have to have quick reaction and use progressive braking, okay? Which means that you don't bang your foot onto oh, the, on the pedal but you keep pushing really hard yeah, all the way down until the car stops. Yeah, I always, I always brake progressively. He's, he's been teaching me <clears> in yeah. the very first lesson. Well, there you, we really have to push really hard on the brake and not let go until the car stops. Okay? So I do progressive braking, just, uh, just like I've been doing all, all the time. It is called progressive braking, but it's a lot harder this time. Oh, firmer? Re firmer, yeah. Oh. You really have to push that pedal down. Oh, yeah. Okay? Because if you punch the brake down, all will happen is that the wheels will lock and then you get into other problems we're going to be talking about in a minute. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So first of all, Tony, if somebody or a child, anything happens in front of you, somebody falls in front of you or whatever, and you have to stop really fast, you don't have time to check, to check the mirrors. Okay? All the, all, the way, all the way to here, we have been checking our mirrors. If you do check them regularly, you know what's behind you anyway. So you don't check your mirrors, okay, for that. Because you will lose time by doing that. By the time you check your mirrors, you're going to be moving towards a child. Yeah. So you don't want to check the mirrors. You want to get quickly on the brake and stop the car okay. as fast as possible. Okay? So no mirror checks. And also, you don't want to steer left and right. So you keep your hand on the steering wheel and you don't go left and right to have to steer away from it. Oh, right. You really concentrate on stopping the car very, very fast. Okay? And then before the car stops entirely, I will tell you to put the clutch down so that we don't stall the car. Oh, right. But if the car stall, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay? Because what you want to do, if you want the car stopping. Now, if you put the clutch too early as you're braking, the car will be rolling away from you. And you want to use engine braking? All right. So if the, if the car stalls, so what? That's what you wanted, you wanted to stop the car. Okay? So we won't worry too much about that. Right. So we want to stop the car. At 20 miles an hour, Tony, the car travels three car length before it stops. And at 30, you get six car length. Yeah. So you got to really react really fast and push those brakes really hard so the car stops. Yeah. Because that could save somebody, the, the child's life, you know? And then when the car stopped on it, you want to put the handbrake on and go in neutral, secure the car, okay? And then before we go again, you select first gear. Before we go again, Tony, you're in the, now you're in a situation where you're in the middle of the road, okay? You stop really fast for a child, and before you carry on going, the child might be running away on the, hopefully you haven't hit him, he runs away from you. If you just go without looking around you, Tony, that mother, the child's mother might be running towards you, and if you go off, you run over. So it's very important you have good observations in the rear window, on your left blind spot, Tony. Yeah. In the left mirror, ahead, in the mirror behind you, on the right mirror, door mirror, okay, and your blind spot, Tony. Oh, right. The blind spot is between the headrest 
and the column though, Pilar, have a look, Johnny. Yeah. In your oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So that's what you have to look. And then when that is there, when it's clear, handbrake down, we carry on, and we'll be parking on the left so we can talk about oh, it. Right, yeah. Usually you, you just carry on, yeah? Okay, so no mirror check, Tony. Firm braking, no steering left and right. Then we'll try not to store the car, but we don't have to worry about it too much because we want the car to stop. And then we want to secure the car. Oh, and you say you'd help me with that and tell me when to put the clutch in, I'll tell you when to put the clutch oh, down, right. so you don't put it before yeah. I say so. And if you put it a bit late and the car stalled, we don't have to worry about it. Right. Okay? And then we secure the car, and then we have good observation all the way around, Tony. There could be people walking by, cyclists, car coming towards us, behind us, all sort of things. Okay, Tony. Now, when we do that, like this car here has got ABS system. ABS system on the car, which means that the car will be, as you, it's a, it's a system that helps you steering around. ABS, I've never heard that. Is it called ABS or is it called, help me out here, out of road, Tony? What is it called? It's ABS, isn't it? Yeah, it's the yeah, braking yeah. system. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, uh, I've seen the okay. the ABS written in. Yeah, it's, it it is. It stands for assisted braking system, which means that when you brake in an emergency, anti lock brake system. Anti lock system, which means that when you brake in an emergency, you can steer around. Also, so you don't lose control with the car. It stops the car the the wheels to lock, which will bring the car into a skid. Okay start swerving yeah if you brake really hard Tony the car might start skidding the, see the, the back of the car going left or right depending okay and that anti-lock braking system what's the braking system helps you to cancel that what it does it applies the brake and releases them very fast dozens of times a minute All right. okay but we won't be doing that today we won't be steering around cars or around what we're trying to stop when we're braking, we just keep the steering straight oh. and stop very fast. Uh, it might be the occasion if you go and buy a car when you pass your test, where you buy a test that doesn't a car that doesn't got uh, the system installed in it, a normal car. In which case, you will use cadence braking. Cadence is called, oh, right. which means you you pump the brake. You will never be able to do it as fast as ABS system does it, but it's a way to control your your braking without locking the wheels. So you 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 you, you brake, uh -huh. release, brake, release, just, brake, release. I just keep pumping. You keep all pumping. The time. That's right. Yeah, but we won't be doing that today because this car is fitted with everything, all right. and we will stop the car and we won't skid. Okay. Yeah. So it's not just just coming out of rolling in there. Yeah. It's anti-lock brake system. That's yeah. Right. Um, okay. On a car that's not fitted with ABS, we don't have to go into great big okay. retail, great great big detail. Um, but it's not just a matter of just pumping the brake. It's okay. it's only a matter of me releasing the brake if I feel any of the wheels of the car are looking there. Yeah? Okay. Because obviously, if I, if I just keep pumping the brake, then it's going to be a very long stop, and okay, fair enough. Yes. I only need to release the brake if we feel the the the, the if wheels I feel are. A locking. wheel or, or all the wheels locking, then I need to release the brake and reapply it immediately. Yeah? Okay, fair enough. And that's yeah. what you need to say. Okay. Cadence braking. Right. Uh, okay, so back in roll. Now, if the car starts skidding, yeah, you want to steer in the direction of the skid. So if the back of the car goes left only, you want to steer left. And if the car, back of the car goes right, you want to steer right. It will bring the car back into the... All right, yeah. It will line yeah. it up again. It will, yeah. cut, it will, it will, it will counteract. Yeah. And uh, put you back in the, in, in the same in the yeah. position on the road. Okay? So hopefully we won't, we won't be skidding today. So we won't need to do that. Yeah. So... So... How will you be, how will you be stopping, Tony, very fast? What's the first thing you would be doing? Um, I'm checking. Oh no, no I don't check the mirror. You don't check the mirror. Never check the mirror. Um, no. 
Oh, I've got to break uh, progressively, haven't I? Yeah, but you have to have quick reaction. Oh, quick reaction, yeah. 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 So, so, so we, should we try that, Tony? Put your hand on the on the steering wheel, oh, right. as if you're driving along, both hands, Tony. Oh, right, yeah. And you've got to have hold the, 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 the steering wheel very firm. Yeah. So if I do that, it's not moving, Tony. Oh, hold right. them firm. Yeah. So it's not moving, you're not steering it, yeah? Yeah. And now you got your foot over the gas, Tony. I'm, I'm very touchy about anybody coming over. Uh, Okay, sorry, sorry, I don't know why, it's just the way. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to make sure that you, you understood and you mustn't steer left and right. Uh, okay, Tony, so I want you to try to put the brake on oh, as fast as you can. Oh, right. Okay, so put back your foot on the, on, the, on the accelerator and I want quick reaction, Tony. All right. So move your, your brake when I tell you to from the gas pedal to the brake as quickly as you can, Tony. With my foot? With your foot. All right. Now, Tony. All right. No, it's not fast enough. You have to go a lot faster, Tony. So do it. Now, Tony. All right. That's it. Well done. Then you push really hard. Then you keep pushing really hard. All right. Okay? Yeah. So what I will do, Tony, when we're doing this exercise, I will look behind to see there's no car coming. All right. Okay? And I will tell you to stop putting my hand like this. When I tell you to stop, Tony, I want you to put that brake down and stop the car as quickly as we can. So I stop as soon as I see you look behind, yeah? No, you don't. When I look behind, Tony, I will, I'm only make sure, making sure that there's no car behind us. Yeah? Yeah. Because we're practicing this, we don't want to have a car behind us that comes and hit us from the back. There was a car behind us, I wouldn't do that. So when I look behind, Tony, don't anticipate that I'm going to tell you to stop, because I might not do it. So I stop when you do what? When I put my hand ahead, then I say stop. When I do this, Tony, and say stop, then you stop. Oh, right. Okay? Not before. Okay? Yeah. And you do it as quick as possible and all the way to the floor until you stop quickly. Yeah. Because we don't want to run over that little boy coming across there. All right. Okay? So do you want to start the car, Tony? Can we right. have a look at that? Just, uh, yeah. just a couple of areas there. Yeah, it was. Uh, it just needs a little bit of structure to it. If, yeah. If you, if you just get your bucket there again, I'll give you a bit of guidance on it. PST5. Yeah. Right. I always think probably the one of uh, one of the most important things Sorry. about an emergency stop is to give me some guidance in in how I avoid having to do emergency stops, yeah? Okay. Because you know, I I sit beside uh, I, I sit beside some drivers and uh, they're practically doing emergency stops every time they um, they drive, yeah? Yeah. So, if you link to what we've been doing for the last five or six minutes since we left the test centre... The mirrors, yeah. I've been doing the mirrors, yeah? yeah. So, if I'm, if I'm continually checking the mirrors and I know what's happening behind me and I'm checking every five or six seconds, then if I've got a great big faulty turn lorry driving very close behind me, mm -hmm. How am I going to adjust my driving? Because I'm, you know, I need to be thinking. If I have to stop, there's not a lot of cop if that forty ton lorry runs over the top of my car, is there? No. Yeah. No. We're going to be dead. He's probably going to push what's left of the car into the pedestrian anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how would I counteract? Adjust, adjust the distance. Isn't it? Yeah. Slow. Well. Well, I can't really adjust the distance between me and the lorry beyond, can I? You can s drive s slower. Yeah. Yeah. I could. I could probably take ten mile an hour off my speed, couldn't yeah. I? Yeah? yeah. And if you look at this top bit here, if I was driving in an area where I saw this uh, a school sign, yeah. And especially if it was any sign of school children, or it was <clears> only <throat> half past eight in the morning, or th around three o'clock in the afternoon. Again, wouldn't I probably take my speed down? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And if I was driving on a slippery road, I'd certainly reduce my speed, wouldn't I? Yeah. Or, or uh, a road with, uh, with loose gravel, yeah? Yeah. Y yeah, so that's how I avoid getting into these situations, yeah? Yeah. Um, but obviously, the, the one scenario that, that, you know, I just can't go past every driveway at 10 mile an hour, can I? No. So... There are the occasions where... Yeah, the other occasion where... Yeah, if, you know, if cars are pulling out of junctions, yeah. uh, I know from studying from my theory that you know, I can look for body language, I can look for the fact that the car is moving over the white line, mm 
Mm. So that shouldn't come as a great big shock to me unless there's a totally blind junction and they fly out of it yeah. at a stupid ridiculous speed, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just one other thing is the You mentioned the abbreviation ABS and remember it it is an yeah, abbreviation. Yeah. yeah. It's anti lock braking system, yeah? Right. Um kind of gave me a little bit of advice on what it does. It helps me to steer, which is quite correct, yeah? Um, it doesn't actually stop the car skidding. That's a bit of a... No, it doesn't. Yeah? No, no. yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's just an assistance, yeah? yeah. Um, but it, if it does activate, especially to somebody who's never ever used it before, it's probably going to frighten me a bit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because the noise goes bang, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's it's gonna buy back. I should have mentioned me. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you need to mention that because yeah, I should mention that. if I didn't know about that, it surprises you and you let go. And yeah. I was a real student. This is my first lesson. I, that would probably frighten me. Yeah. And if it frightened me, I'd probably jump off the brake thinking I'm broken. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, so, uh, so we we'll carry off from there. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll just tell you where you stand on this within the law. Yeah, you've got a duty of care. Yeah. Um, to me, if I'm a real student, yeah, yeah, to yourself and to every other road user, yeah, yeah. So it's in it's in your hands when you carry out this maneuver to make sure that it's safe, yeah, yeah. And so I don't want you to be asking me to stop if there's any any moving vehicles behind me, yeah, coming towards me, yeah, coming to the sides of me, yeah. Or I don't really want to be doing it in an area where there's pedestrians. In the very near vicinity, yeah. Okay. Because of the fact we may frighten them, yeah. Should go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's just to tell you what you're looking for, yeah. Yeah. No, um, it's all spotted, but yeah. I also, I also won't be, I won't feel very secure if, um, if you're not checking over your shoulder. Yeah. 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 Before you give that signal, yeah. Yeah. And if it is dangerous, and the signal is given, then I'll just ignore it and we'll pull over and talk about it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that wouldn't go down too well, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's entirely up to you to make sure the the area is safe. I've got no objections to you doing it with me driving down between parked cars because that's where pedestrians could walk out. Yeah. 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 But just make sure there's no moving vehicles behind me, ahead of me, or coming to the sides of me, or any pedestrians in the very near vicinity who may be frightened. Yeah. Who may have a heart attack when on the ladder. Something yeah, like yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay, Tony. So yeah. do you want to start the car? Oh right, yeah. Please, Tony. <clears throat> okay, and uh, we're going to be moving down the road, Tony. Yeah. And we will do the emergency, emergency stop. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, although we don't check the mirrors when we're doing the emergency stop, you want to have a good observation before you pull out and use those mirrors if you, yeah? So when you're ready and safe to do oh, so, right, please, yeah. Tony. Yeah. And you want to check your blind spot, Tony, as well? Oh, we blind spot, yeah. Yeah? Make sure there's no one around. Can I not just use the right door mirror? You can use the right door mirror, but there's a blind spot on it. You can't see everything All right, with that yeah. mirror. And we're going to turn left. And we're going to be turning left, Tony. Okay, Tony. So. Stop! Okay, secure the car, Tony. For me. And go in neutral. Neutral, Tony. And start the car for me. Start the car for me. And when I tell you to do so, we're going to park on the left there. But before we move off, Tony, you want to look all the way around. Put it first gear for me, Tony. Prepare the car as usual. Look over your blind spot, Tony. Look over your blind spot. Anybody coming towards you? Oh, Look God. over your right shoulder, your oh. blind spot. Anybody there? No. no? All the way.